internet, this is Chris McKee from beautiful San Antonio, Texas at Alamo Music Center. We are on the web at alamomusic.com and obviously on YouTube because you found us here. And today we have the Battle Royale. We have the fight between the two juggernauts in the three-quarter size travel guitar category. I know you didn't think that there was a fight in the three-quarter size travel guitar category, but there is a fight of signature guitar proportions between Taylor Swift's Baby Taylor and Little Martin, Ed Sheeran. That's right. We've got the pop and country princess facing off against the English crooner. For the crown of who makes the best or most wanted three-quarter size travel signature guitar. We're going to see which one reigns supreme. Does Taylor, in all of her blonde legginess, or does Ed, with his crooning soulful tunes, translate into a wonderful guitar? So we'll listen to them, and then we'll see how they face off against each other. guitars are very very similar guitars they're both uh, three-quarter size travel or student guitars um, they're both made in Mexico they both have solid spruce tops on them um, they are about the same scale um, same number of frets they both come with electronics they both come with gig bags and they're about the same price range and they come from two premier American guitar manufacturers Taylor and Martin so the question is what sets these apart as signature models and which one wins the grand prize because everyone likes a winner and everyone likes to root for an underdog until that underdog loses and then all anyone ever remembers is the winner anyways so let's start right off the bat now the taylor taylor swift signature model okay taylor plays a taylor we just got to say right there point to taylor swift okay new category so let's look at a few other things. Uh, how about construction? They uh, both have solid spruce tops on them. They both have laminate back and sides. Taylor is a sapele back and side, high pressure laminate with poplar in the middle, so it's an actual wood laminate. Uh, the Ed Sheeran comes with Martin's HPL high pressure laminate with a grain pattern of koa. And that's pretty cool. And koa has some reddish hues in it. And Ed Sheeran, he's a ginger, so Hey, that's pretty smart. Point to the Ed Sheeran Little Martin guitar for being kind of like Ed. The Taylor Swift's not, baby Taylor, well, Taylor's blonde and kind of leggy and tall, so I guess it's got a blonde looking top on it, but it's certainly not leggy and tall. But you get a picture of Taylor with it, so that's cool. You don't get a picture of Ed with the Little Martin. I don't know if I'd want a picture of Ed, but the picture of Taylor's pretty awesome. So you could buy this guitar and you could frame that photo or maybe get a backstage pass and have her sign it with a Sharpie. And then you could put it on your guitar and just all sorts of point to Taylor Swift for that. Point to Ed Sheeran, all winners in that category. So for appointments, uh, both of these guitars are very much like their normal uh, counterparts, the traditional Baby Taylor or the traditional Little Martin, uh, but they have some little features that set them apart. First of all, Taylor's has this beautiful floral pattern on it, and it says love three times, which, oh, that's sweet. And Ed's has this really aggressive look to it uh, with black hardware and a uh, black bridge pins and a black saddle and a black nut and eight different X's because X marks the spot. And we all know Ed to be kind of a tough, uh, edgy kind of person. Wait a minute. No, we don't. It's still a cool look, though. You got to wonder, though, shouldn't Taylor's guitar have eight X's on it? Well, I still like the love and the X's are cool. So, by the way, speaking of X's, 
that live in Texas. <laughs> Did you notice that there's an inlaid mahogany X on the top of his guitar? Now, I think that was a very purposeful inclusion because mahogany has a nice mid-range tone. By putting it over here on the treble side, you really uh, bring a nice roundness to the treble side of the guitar. No, you don't, but it's cool. Okay, next category. So both of these guitars come with pickups uh, with a built-in tuner. Uh, the Little Martin has a Fishman pickup in it uh, with a built-in tuner. And the Taylor has, Taylor, this is new by the way for 2015, a Baby Taylor with a pickup. They also have big babies with these. And uh, it has a built-in tuner as well. This is Taylor's own proprietary system. Point of fact though, you can also get the Baby Taylor, Taylor Swift signature model guitar without a pickup at a lower price. So, yay for options, point to uh, Taylor Swift for that one. So, in construction, one of the things that you'll notice if you ever look at a baby Taylor is that the neck is held in place basically by two drywall screws. And this is something that Taylor's been doing since the very beginning, and it works. I've had a baby Taylor for about 14 years. Um, but it's not the most stable neck joint. That would have to go to the Little Martin with its Stratabond neck and actual heel. It's a lot more stable, uh, tuning stability is improved. The sad thing is that I understand to make a Stratabond neck, like 50 Stratocasters had to die to make this one neck. And that's just kind of sad. But can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. So it's really nice, uh, even if it's a little heavy. And this is a little heavy on the neck side. Um, but Ed Sheeran looks a little top heavy too. Kind of like an orange on a toothpick, in fact. So it's a lot like Ed in that regard. Point to Ed. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to go up to the, the top roof of our building and we're gonna drop both of these guitars off to see which one survives. And then the point will be awarded to the guitar that is not completely demolished by the time that is done. Uh, we'll have to get back to you on that test. For now, what I can tell you is that these guitars are neck and neck. Um, they're both really good guitars. They both come with gig bags. They're at a good price point. And we are joking about anything that we say about the artists who represent these guitars. They're both great guitars, and we'd love to see both of those artists visit our store anytime they're in San Antonio, particularly Taylor Swift. You're very welcome to visit our store anytime. And Ed, you're welcome to hang out and, and uh, make me feel taller because I'm relatively short. So if you could visit us anytime, we'd appreciate it. From Alamo Music, this is Chris. Tell us what you think in the comments. Which one do you think wins the battle royale between the signature model, three-quarter size, travel student guitar category? Taylor Swift or Ed Sheeran?